FNBO offers instant card issuance to digital wallets. First National Bank of Omaha, FNBO, has launched instant digital issuance capabilities in partnership with Visa. Ramp raises US$300 MLN to expand in new categories. Finance Automation Platform Ramp has announced a US$300 million Series D funding round to fuel its product development and expand into adjacent categories. Nomad raises US$61 MLN in Tiger-led round. Brazil-based fintech Nomad has raised US$61 million in an investment round held by Tiger Global Management. Flutterwave to further IPO plans Nigeria-based fintech Flutterwave has reportedly planned to further its initial public offering, IPO, after progress in resolving allegations of financial impropriety in Kenya. Coverly introduces a B2B Buy Now, Pay Later platform. US-based startup Coverly has introduced a B2B Buy Now, Pay Later platform to allow businesses to defer FX payments for 30 days. The Open Wallet Foundation adds Google as a premier member. The Open Wallet Foundation, OWF has added Google as a premier member and bolstered its objective to drive open-source interoperability. Checkout.com partners with Emirates Nature WWF Global payment solution provider Checkout.com has partnered with Emirates Nature WWF to increase sustainability in the UAE. JP Morgan Payments adds tap to pay on iPhone for U.S. merchants. JP. Five Star Bank and Autobooks launch tap to pay on iPhone. US based Five Star Bank and Payment and Accounting Platform Autobooks have partnered to launch a tap to pay on iPhone feature for small businesses. Beyond launches payment processor for vacation rentals. US based revenue management platform Beyond has launched Tally, a modern, ready-to-use payment processing solution designed for the vacation rental industry. Yield and Airwallex partner to accelerate global payments. US-based payments consulting startup Yield has partnered with Global Payments and financial platform Airwallex to accelerate global payments. Moneypoint cleared to acquire Kenyan fintech Copo Copo. The competition ombudsman in Kenya has allowed Moneypoint to buy Copo Copo, a Kenya-based provider of payment services and credit to businesses. Telesign Survey. Millennials more prone to experience fraud. Telesign, a provider of customer identity and engagement solutions, has released more data from its 2023 Telesign Trust Index, highlighting the dynamic of online fraud. Binance launches Binance Pay Solution in Brazil. Cryptocurrency exchange Binance has launched the Binance Pay crypto payment option in Brazil to help local merchants attract new customers. Singapore Air Charter includes crypto in its payment portfolio. Singapore Air Charter has expanded its payments portfolio to include cryptocurrencies and has introduced flexible installment plans. Australian Central Bank CBDC research highlights long path to any future deployment. A year-long research project by the Reserve Bank of Australia has uncovered a number of legal, regulatory, technical and operational issues that could stymie the introduction of a central bank digital currency, CBDC. Klarna claims European momentum. As rivals pull out of Europe, BNPL giant Klarna is reporting strong uptake across the continent, with the value of goods sold through the platform soaring. New Jersey limits merchant fees that penalize cardholders.
Rulemakers in New Jersey have passed a bill that limits the surcharge applied by merchants and passed on to consumers who want to pay with a card over cash. SVB appoints head of global payments and head of global digital solutions. Silicon Valley Bank, SVB, a division of First Citizens Bank, today announced Martin Morrill has been named head of global payments and Milton Santiago was named head of global digital solutions. IFX Payments secures Canadian FMSB license. IFX Payments today announces the successful acquisition of its Canadian foreign money services business, FMSB, license. JP Morgan Metals Taters sented to jail over market manipulation scheme. Two former precious metals traders at JP Morgan Chase have been sentenced to prison for engaging in fraud, attempted price manipulation, and spoofing as part of a market manipulation scheme that spanned over eight years involved tens of thousands of unlawful trading sequences, and resulted in over $10 million in losses to market participants. Morgan Stanley hit with 5.4 million fine after energy traders used WhatsApp. UK energy regulator Ofgem has fined Morgan Stanley 5.41 million over the use by traders of WhatsApp messages on private phones to discuss market transactions. Lightyear launches business investment account. Retail investment platform Lightyear is moving into the small business market, launching UK business accounts and opening access to money market funds for freelancers and sole directors in the UK via a partnership with BlackRock. Datasite acquires merger links. Datasite, a leading SaaS based technology provider for global mergers and acquisitions, MA, professionals has completed the acquisition of Merger Links, a London-based financial data platform used by finance professionals to find deal information, promote credentials and connect with investors, companies, and advisors for capital transactions. HKEX makes senior IT appointments. Hong Kong Exchanges and Clearing Limited, HKEX, is pleased to announce today, Wednesday, the appointment of John Shu as Managing Director and Group Chief Technology Officer. He succeeds Richard Lee Ung, who will become Group Chief Information Officer. Why Merchants Shouldn't Underestimate Chargebacks Chargebacks continue to be a challenge for many merchants. Cross River Partners with Current to launch Credit Building Product Embedded financial solutions provider Cross River has announced a partnership with US-based fintech platform Current to launch a new credit building product. IFX Payments secures an FMSB license and continues global expansion. Global fintech IFX Payments has secured a Canadian foreign money services business, FMSB, license as it continues its worldwide expansion. True Digital partners with end contracts to improve vendor data management for financial institutions. True Digital Group, a provider of digital vendor optimization network services, has partnered with end contracts, a vendor, compliance, and risk management solutions provider in the financial industry. LEMFI launches in U.S. offering digital money transfers. LEMFI, a fintech specializing in international payments, has launches in the U.S., offering digital money transfer services to empower African diaspora. NEOM partners with OzCMBO. Global payments provider NEOM has partnered with OzCMBO to launch real-time payment rail to help Brazilian businesses transfer funds to major markets. Apple expands TAP to pay solution to Netherlands. Apple has expanded the availability of its TAP to pay on iPhone feature in the Netherlands. Reserve Bank of Australia and Digital Finance CRC conclude CBDC research project. The Reserve Bank of Australia, RBA, and the Digital Finance Cooperative Research Centre, DFCRC 
have jointly unveiled the results of a collaborative research endeavor focused on the potential implementation of a central bank digital currency, CBDC, in Australia. Oanda acquires a majority interest in CoinPass. US-based Oanda has acquired a majority interest in cryptocurrency exchange CoinPass to expand its portfolio and offerings. Comply Advantage joins a WS Accelerator program. Comply Advantage, the leading financial crime intelligence company, has joined the Amazon Web Services, Oz, independent software vendor, ISV, Accelerate program, a co-sell program for Oz partners that provides software solutions that run on or integrate with AWS. This concludes our current edition of the Bay Pay Forum podcast. Remember that you can read the full text of each article in our news section on baypayforum.com. We hope to see you tomorrow.